Hi, welcome to another Rec Room tutorial. I'm Ventbot, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the spawner gadget to spawn in some random items, maybe some pots or some enemies. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Let's get started. First of all, you're going to need your maker pen, so look at your watch, tap backpack, and under maker pen, click use. Your maker pen will spawn in front of you, just grab it, and we want to look at your maker pen, tap create, and click open palette. It's going to open up your palette. We want the gadgets tab, CV2 gadgets, and on the second page, there's an option for spawner gadget V2. We'll tap that, close our palette, and if you look at your maker pen, I'm going to make sure my snapping is set to grid. Actually, I'm going to change it to surface. And click to spawn the spawner gadget. I want the circuit board to be up a little higher, so I'm going to grab it and move it. Now we need a button. So I'm going to look at my maker pen, make sure I'm on create, open palette, under Gadgets, CV2 Gadgets, and the first page, I want the button V2. So I'm going to select that. Look at my Maker Pen. I want to make sure I'm on Grid this time for snapping. I'm going to spawn this. And actually, I'm going to spawn two buttons. I'm going to spawn another one right here. So I'm going to, instead of it saying Push Me, I'm going to click Configure on my Maker Pen, click the button, and I want to give it a different name. So I'm going to say Spawn Pot. And then close out of that. And on this one, I'm going to configure it and call it Delete Pots. You can call it whatever you want. If you look at your maker pen, you want to get a little creative, I can click Recolor, click the Colors tab, and maybe choose Red and click on the button to change the color of the button. Now I have my spawner gadget here. I need to tell it to spawn some pots. So I'm going to look on my maker pen, make sure I'm on Configure, click on the circuit board, and there's a Set Object. If I click that, it's going to open up my palette, and here's all the different things that I can spawn. You'll see there's some enemies, there's some random things like a pot, a mug, and if I go to the second page, there's other enemies, a plate, just different things to spawn in. Well, I'm going to have some fun with the clay pot large. So if I click that, and now I can close out of my configure option. So if we look at the circuit, we can see it's going to spawn one item, and that's pretty much it. If I wanted to spawn more than one item at a time, I could configure this option here, and then I can also set the seconds between each spawn. I want just one pot to appear every time I push this button. So now I need to wire the spawner gadget and the button. I'm going to look at my maker pen, click the wire tool, and I want it to happen every time this button is pressed. I want it to start spawning. So I'm going to move my maker pen over pressed and then connect it to start. Okay, pretty easy. Now for the delete pots, every time this button is pressed, I'm going to choose my wire option. I want to reset. So that's pretty much it. It's as simple as that. So if I drop my maker pen, I can now click Spawn Pot, and I get a pot. I can grab it and do whatever I want with it. I can keep clicking Spawn Pot, and a bunch of pots will appear. The Delete Pots button, if I click it, all the pots go away. It's that simple. Now if I look at my maker pen again, and I click Configure, and I click on the Amount to Spawn. 
I can change that. Let's say I want to spawn five pots at a time. So I'm going to say five. And since I have zero seconds between spawns, all five of them are going to appear at one time. So if I click spawn pot, there's all five. I can click delete pots and they're gone. So if I look at my maker pen again, maybe I want to put one second in between each spawn. I can look at the maker pen, click configure and change this to one. Now, if I hit spawn pot, there's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, so that's something to keep in mind. The pot just keeps pushing that button. So it's going to spawn a bunch of times, which isn't maybe what you want to happen. So I'm going to click delete pots. You can always look at your maker pen and you can always move this button a little further away from the spawner gadget just by looking at your maker pen, clicking move, and then grabbing the button, maybe moving it somewhere else like here. That's pretty much it. Um, and you may want to also move the delete pots button. Maybe we want it over here. Because if I go a little nuts and just, well, actually, let's configure this again. Let's say zero seconds between spawns. And we want to spawn 10 at a time which is just a little crazy, but we're going to do it. So if I click spawn pot, there's 10, there's 10 more, there's some more, and you can just go, you can also go over here and click delete pots. Keep in mind though, as we spawn a pot in, if I look at my ink by pulling out my maker pen, looking at it and opening palette, I can see right now my room's at 63.63% ink. If I hit spawn, it just went up to 73%. Hit it again, 82%. So those pots use up some ink. So you have to keep that in mind. I hit it again, I'm at 92. If I hit it again, I'm at 99. So if I try again, it's not going to respawn or spawn any more pots. But if I go over here, I pull out my maker pen. Watch my ink level go down when I delete these pots. Back down to 63. That concludes today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button below and hit subscribe. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos or improvements, please say so in the comments. I appreciate any kind of feedback that you have. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.